Last part, part three. So the first thing you should have done is in references, change the style to MLA. And then what you're going to do is click in the second paragraph after the B, but before the period. So um, we did the footnotes. Those appear at the very end after the period, but citations are before the period. So go ahead and choose insert citation. There is one already, but we're going to go to add a new source. And then what type of source is it? And depending on what type of source you select, the options underneath will change. For example, if you chose a website as your source, uh, they would have a, a, a feature for the URL. So this one is actually going to be a report. So go ahead and click report and some of the options change. And then you're going to select corporate author and then you're going to fill in the information and of course be very careful because everything that you type any spe um, spelling errors is going to be submitted to SAM and you'll find that the information that you'll be filling in either in your ebook or your loose leaf textbook once everything is filled in correctly go ahead and choose OK and then within the parentheses should be the um, the co corporate author, which is the JCL talent, in parentheses before the period. Perfect. So what we'd like to do to the citation is actually add the page that it's found on. So if you hover over the citation and click, it becomes um, an item that has a drop-down menu, and you're going to select the down arrow and choose Edit Citation, and Pages, you'll put in page 15, and then OK. And then it adds, um, after the name of the author, page 15. So now we're going to scroll down to add another Insert Citation. So we're going to the paragraph applications developer to the end of it again after the S but before the period and you'll choose insert citation there you have the JC talent so you're adding to your list add a new source and then we'll type in the information this is um, a document from a website so you may have to use a down arrow and again, the information changed, so we'll fill that in. Once the information is in, typed in, go ahead and click and proofread. Go ahead and click OK. And then in parentheses, you should have U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. For the next one, you're going to scroll down to page two. And we're looking at customer service manager. And at the end of that one, again, go after the zero but before the period and then choose insert citation. But this time it's not a new one. We're actually going to use the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. So go ahead and just select it. All the information is in there. And if you scroll to the last page, after the last one again, percent by 2030, again, same place. Before the period, insert citation, same one, US Bureau of Labor and Statistics. Then you'll scroll back up to page two under the category data architect. And at the end of this, after Seattle, the end of the paragraph, again, after the E but before the period, what we're going to do here is not, um, so it's insert citation, but instead of a new source, you're going to just put in add a new placeholder. And this is just a temporary, so you're just going to type NYT New York Times and then click OK. So what happens is you'll go back to this later and actually add in all of the information. This is just a reminder to put one in there and you can go and fill it in later. So if you want, you can control home that'll take you to the beginning of the document. So let's check all of our resources, our citations. So click Manage Sources and that's under the reference group. And then it'll show you everything that we've selected. The question mark for NYT because we haven't completed it. And the bottom one is one that was there before. We didn't actually um, work with that one. So what you'll do is you'll click it from the current list. And then we're, what we're going to do is just delete it. So it takes it off. Then we'll actually click the NYT. And what we want to do is now we'll do it. Edit. And this is where we, if we were to do insert new resource, we could have done it then, or you could do it later. 
And in this one, it's going to be an article in a periodical. So let me fill that in for you. Once the information is inputted, go ahead and click OK. And then we'll close out of here. And then this time we're going to do control and the button underneath home that's labeled END. And that takes us to the end of the document. And what we're going to do is actually have our bibliography list showing on the screen. So you're going to choose the big bibliography button. And um, there's three choices, bibliography, references, or works cited. I think most people um, these days use the works cited, but it places all of your citations in alphabetic order in the correct um, citation format. It's just, do you want it to say bibliography? Do you want it to say references or works cited? That's the only thing that's different. So we'll select bibliography and there it appears, like, like I said, in alphabetic order. It has that hanging indent effect and it's in the correct insert citation format, just like if you used EasyBib. So this is a nice feature that you can use in Word. So this time we're going to go back to manage sources and we're going to click the JC talent and we're going to choose edit. And in here, we're going to deselect the corporate author. And then instead of um, the author name up there, JC talent, you're actually going to fill in Siobhan Rudd. Just change that to an author instead of a corporate author. And then we'll click OK. It's going to ask us, do you want to update both lists with these pages? And you'll select yes. And then we'll close. Now, if you look under bibliography, it did not change it on the bibliography description yet. In order to do that, you have to actually click the bibliography, and then you have a button to choose Update Citations in Bibliography, and it does it for you. So there it's in alphabetic order, and Rudd is second. Control End, press Enter, type your name. Control Home, click the View tab, multiple pages. If you want to see all three pages, just click the minus to just reduce the font, the um, zooms to 50. And then what you'll also do is click the Review tab. And then for the No Markup, choose the down arrow and choose All Markup. And then you're going to save this, and it, you, you have the recent name, save it. And this is the one you save and upload into SAM. So go ahead and do that. And then they have you do um, one more thing, which is called inspect a document to see if there's any um, anything that needs to be corrected on. So the, if you were to send this or share it electronically, what you would want to do is use inspect a document. So what happens is, it scans for anything that would be either public or uh, public or private information that you did not want to go out there that we wanted to. Um, and sometimes you don't see it. It's embedded private information. And you would want to block this from uh, the people that you're sharing it with. So what you would do is click the File tab and then choose Show All Properties, then choose Inspect document and then choose uh, so you choose click check for issues inspect document make sure that they are all checked off so if they're all checked off looks good choose inspect Next to Comments, select Remove All. Next to doc Document Properties, Remove All, so that your company name, nothing will be uh, showing on that. 
and any personal information. So that should be gone. Then we'll click close. And we'll go back. And you can save this one as um, your last name and add the word inspected at the end. But this one's not uploaded. So hopefully the one that we did together, when you upload it and review your grades, it's a good one. Thank you.